welcome. Neil Ash here from Tax TV. Hope we're all well. Looking forward to the weekend. Another league feature coming up. Pretty tough one as well, to be fair. Two away games coming up. Bolton and Markham going to be featuring and focusing on the Bolton game. My predictor starting 11. From the extra game to the Doncaster Rovers game, I think there's been a few players that could possibly put us in contention with um, a start against Bolton. Impressed with some players. Uh, young Dyer, Lancaster, Jallo. You know, there's, there's a quite a few players what should be really knocking on the door like now and uh, wanting a, an opportunity. Josh Martin as well. A couple of goals for him. So, I'm going to get to the uh, my start predicted, you know, 11 kind of thing. Oh, we always do it just to have a rough idea on what may or may not, you know, happen. It's always interesting to get uh, other people's thoughts and opinions on this. So, yep. Yeah, predicted starting 11 against Bolton Wonders, 3 pm kickoff. Undecided with Brad, I think since he's come back from his injury with a face mask on, I don't know if it's his confidence, what's been knocked a bit, um, whether it's restricted vision in the, the face mask protective, I don't know. Um, I'm going to say Brad Collins, but then in the same respect, has he come back too soon? I don't think Walton did out, poor to be fair, um, but I think he's going to be starting. I know that Michael Duff came out and said that Jordan Williams is on a uh, Patterson, sorry, he said the Jordan Williams, you know, fitness, he might not be there. I would have, even if he was fit, I would have given Jordan a rest and I'd play Tom Edwards. I think when Tom came on for him in um, extra game, I thought he looked more of a threat and more lively in that right wing back position. He got Captain's armband against Danny Rovers. And my opinion, I think when he went off, when he got subbed off, obviously taking some uh, changes for fitness and didn't want to pick up any injuries, I thought that's when Doncaster more or less utilised that right wing back role. Again, going down that section and cutting in across. So I thought we, we lost a bit of momentum and I thought we lost a bit of his leadership in that area. They seem to capitalise on it in second half. Um, so for me, I'd like to see Tom Edwards ever ever run out in that position. Central defence, banning and injuries or niggles. I think it's going to be more or less same back three. There's an understanding of getting there now. So you've got Captain Mads, Conde, and Kitchen. I think that more or less sorts its sun out at the minute. Conor McCarthy knows that for the rest of the season. Barring any injuries, I can't see that changing much. Um, if for Warren Eagle or NG, you'd probably see Jordan Williams slot into that position. Jasper Munn come in or Jason Stra, but I'm thinking at the moment, there's no fresh injury uh, worries. Keep it back free as it is. Nicky Cadden. Undecided with Nicky. Potentials via going forward, but Positional wise in defence, it just seems to be found wanting at times. Wouldn't be surprised if uh, Laresh had run out, but then again, is is Duff going to stop with Nicky Cadden open? You know, it's gonna it's gonna work for him. Again, it does look a threat when he's going forward and that, and he's great in his locker, but at times again, this in them right wing passage. Right wing back and left wing back positions have been found wanting, and I think that's his killer's heel at the minute. Just trying to find a, a suitable, stable option in either area. So, Nicky Cadden for me, but then again, Laresh is Vera or Vera Bath knocking on the door. And it's a good run out in the Papa John's trophy. He's got involved more regularly like now on first team affairs. That's, so that's my back three and that's my two wing backs. 
Uh, again, let me know your thoughts and comments below. Midfield, Luke O'Connell, I'm glad he's back. He completed 90 minutes as well against Doncaster Rovers. He looked in command. He was bossing it. He looked comfortable. Great to see he got 90 minutes. So, you like to think that, you know, he got some sharpness and some match fitness back. Come to take corner, which just say Dyer, Dyer, sorry, just say, yeah, just say Dyer. Um, got his first touch and only scored. But when Luke Connell were coming over for the ball, for corner kick, got a, you know, standing innovation from crowd and he obviously appreciated it and uh, get his, gives his thoughts and his, you know, acknowledged it back. Again, Luke Connell going back to Bolton, going to be a massive, massive game for him because, you know, when he started his career. Glad he's back and I'm glad he's up for, well, he will be up for this Bolton game because it'll mean a lot to him personally as well. So, yeah, Luke Connell. Benson, I'm going to go for Benson in midfield. I can see Luke Connell just sitting back deep. Benson in midfield trying to get things going. Again, confidence. He'd like to think we'd be looking for a reaction from the Exeter game. And Martin. Some pe- it's a bit some people uh, unsure about Martin. I know when he were on, on loan at Doncaster Rovers, and uh, some knowledge fans have also mentioned me saying that he's got a decent player very you know, he will finish and he's got some ability. I think we saw that against Doncaster Rovers and getting two goals, linking up well with the uh, Attacking forward line again is it a, a game? He said, Yeah, do you know what? I want to show what I can do. There is a position there. Luke Thomas is out. Uh, glad to see that Luke Thomas's operation went well. So, a speed recover to Luke, or oh, you do get back uh, soon, but more importantly, get back to full fitness and your own health as well, mate. Uh, so yeah, there is a position there. Got thinking about a bit at Exeter, didn't it? I tried different things, it didn't quite work out. I'd like to see Josh Martin give a run out. You've got options there, you could have like put Herbie Kane in, Luke Connell in, and probably push Benson forward. But I think that three, what I've just mentioned via is in Luke Connell, Benson, and Josh Martin. I think that could be the next trio that could possibly get us on a bit of a run. And a few wins under belt. Again, you might agree or disagree on that. Let us, let me know your thoughts. Tacking two. Few di- I've been thinking a bit about this. I've gone for Devante Cole. Been on some form. A few goals in the last couple of games. Obviously, it didn't go his way. I don't think it went anybody's way, to be fair, against Exeter. I'm going for Aitchison up front. I'm thinking and reasoning behind that, I'm thinking I'm just wanting that bit of, away from home, wanting a bit of pressing and closing down and running it the Bolton defence. I think Norwood would have gave that pressing and closing down, but not as to what extent as in Aitchison. Probably got other options there. Um, again, I was pretty disappointed in Tedich in a way is that I were willing for him to score that penalty. But in the second half as well with Ted Hitch, is I felt that at times he could have had a pop-up goal rather than trying to play it in for Martin or try and play it for other people. I think it's just that bit of confidence was just lacking. And I think, personally, I think if he, if he does get odd goal, I think it'll like take some burden off him. I'm going for H up front. Possibly could put on bench Jallo after his week. You know, a great performance. Does it, does it, does it deserve a, a first-team call-up in, in bench? Lancaster, again, another great performance by some young, youngsters there. Young Daniel Benson, again, another great performance. That was pleasing to see. But now I think we've got options on bench where things could like change for us. You know, if, if Aitchison does start, you've got Norwood. But could, 
could come on. You've got Jallo, possibly, if he's going to get involved. Tedich, you've got Irby Kane, Lancaster, then you'll probably have Williams, Phillips. Options are starting to be via now. But again, that's my predicted starting 11. Might be not too far off. I'm, you know, more hoping not. More hoping not. But again, bad opinions. Bolton, Wanderers versus Barnes. If you say in comments below, let me know what your thoughts on starting 11 will be. Score prediction. What do you think your score prediction will be? I think it's going to be a close game away at Bolton. They are playing well. I'm hoping we'll come away and nick it with a win. But I think if we come away with a draw, 2-2, two, two, I think it'd be a decent result. It's going to be an hard one to call. I know we're taking quite a fair few, so it's going to be a good following if we can get behind them like we have done in, you know, in his previous away games. We could be 12th man. I hope we come away with a win. Obviously, I do. I always want to win. If me aren't saying it, I'm going to say 2 1 Barnsley away. But my head is going for 2 2. I just think it'll be a, a good game and a tough game and also a test for us as well to see if we can bounce back from the disappointment in last weekend's fixture in the league. Again, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. One thing left to say, you Reds. Thank <music> you.